although my last still air box video was fun, it couldn't hold up to the pressures of the world. In fact, some of its duct tape started peeling off. Welcome to the Sterilite Gasket Box. This is a pretty great one if you want to make sure that nothing's going to be getting through that seal up there. Now, there's going to be two giant holes in here. So it's not like, you know, <laughs> it's, it's not like it's super vitally important to have something that has these seals, but I feel more comfortable with it because it means that once I sterilize this as my surface down here, because the lid is used as your surface, once this is all sterilized, I know that there's nothing that's going to be seeping in from the sides. So without further ado, let's get on to the main event. Let's get on to forging our still air box in fire. Honestly, if you don't have one of these, uh, one of these propane burners, um, are you even a stoner? That's the question I would ask you. It's a very, very weak one here. You could, I could probably just tear it, poking my finger through it. Okay, I think we are good. We are sizable enough holes, and uh, I, I like them at this level right here as well. It gives me enough room to really assess anything and everything in there, and I'm probably going to be coming at it from an angle above it anyway, so these will be great places for that. Wow, this is way easier. This is so, so much easier. Let me just check to make sure I want to be able to do this. Gosh dang it, that's... I'm gonna have to reheat this so that way it becomes a little bit easier for me to just cut it out. There we go. Would you look 
at that. Wow. This I like very much. So that should just make it all around easier to do. You don't have to buy any fancy saws, those, those circular saws that you throw onto the top of a drill or anything like that. Um, you also won't have to do the little drill holes all around it so that way it makes it easier to cut. No, actually this is probably the easiest way I can think of of cutting open those holes. Uh, and all you need is a box knife afterwards, which as you know, these things are kind of flimsy. So the fact that I'm able to cut it with this is pretty cool, I think. So how much was this all in all realistically? Well, this attachment right here is probably going to run you uh, about $12. This right here should be six or $7. Uh, this is going to be about nine dollars and this you know you can get a box cutter just about anywhere for anywhere from like two to three dollars you know, depending in total that's going to cost you round about thirty dollars for this whole setup another thing I like about this is how much space there is to really work with your items while still having enough area around your arm. For example, I'm able to put this jar in here without getting monkey trapped, you know, with those where they can't bring it back out. Eh, whatever it's called, you know what I'm talking about. So yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this was at least a little bit helpful. I'm still trying to figure out my intro and outro here, so uh, I think I'm just gonna, just gonna end it. End.